I was shocked when I saw that you can buy a TV mount for only 10 bucks. Harbor Freight has a mixed track record on quality, so I was skeptical it would be any good, but I decided to try it out. This is now the second one I've used. In this video, I'll show you how these mounts are made, how to install them, and the one significant drawback. First off, we'll take a look at what you actually get in this kit. Right on top here is the instruction manual, which shows this only has the regular 90-day Harbor Freight warranties. Here's a bag with all the hardware included. This is the plate that goes on the back of the TV. It is zip-tied on there. And here's the arm for the mount. When I opened the first one of these I had, I was actually pretty impressed with the construction. We have decently beefy square tube in here. It's welded at these connections on the joints. If we look in there, we can see it's actually a pretty clean welding job as well. As expected, the uh, plates here on the end pieces are all stamped steel, and they're uh, decently thick. I measured them, and they're between two and a half or three millimeters, depending on where you measure. Uh, this plate that goes on the back of the TV is a little flimsier. It's about two millimeters, uh, but that's still plenty for this job. I'll show you some more details in a few minutes, but first uh, I'll give you a quick explanation of how this is installed. You obviously have the two holes here for the lag screws that go into the stud in the wall here on this side. On this piece, the plate here goes on the back of the TV, and uh, these two little ears hook over the arm like this. Then you use these screws to keep the plate attached to the arm here. Let me show you now the one drawback I see on this. It has a quite a bit of adjustment for such a cheap mount. You can see you can swivel it there side to side. And on the front here, you can also tilt the TV with these screws and these slots here. But what it does not have is a horizontal tilt. So you can't tilt the TV side to side like this. That's not really a huge drawback. I, I doubt a lot of lower priced uh, TV mounts have that. But when you're mounting this, you really need to make sure it's as level as possible for that reason. There is a little bit of an adjustment you can kind of tweak here. When you get this on, you see there's a slot there. So you can kind of tilt the plate back and forth a little bit, but it's not a very secure adjustment. So again, when you're mounting this, make sure you get it as level as possible. One more thing, this is surprisingly beefy for something that only costs $10, but I would not put something that weighs 66 pounds on it like it claims it supports. Both the TVs I have mounted on this are about 24 pounds and it worked really well for those. But if you're going up to something that's you know more than 60 pounds, I would really want a different style of mount that doesn't just screw into one stud, but instead has a wider base that screws into two studs. I'm going to start out here by mounting the bracket to the TV with the included hardware. Now I'll measure from the bottom of the TV to where the plate attaches to the mount. That'll help me figure out where I should put the mount on the wall to get the TV where I want it. Another thing, make sure to actually read the instructions when you're doing this. Don't just go by this video, because I'm not going to show you every single thing you need to know. However, I did notice one inconsistency on this. On the box for this, it says you should drill a 730 seconds pilot hole for the uh, lag screw that holds the mount to the wall. However, that is too big. In the manual here, it says an eighth inch, and that is the right size. So eighth inch is what you need. I marked out the spots on the wall here where I want to put the mount. So first I'm going to drill the pilot holes, then I'll start to tighten down the mount, make sure it's level, and finish tightening it down. One more thing is these lag screws are not the highest quality lag screws, so I would recommend using a socket or a box end wrench to tighten them down. If you use an adjustable wrench, it might be more easy to round them off. And you have to make sure you're mounting this to a stud. There are two screws here on the side of the mount you need to remove before you install the TV. These screws are what will ultimately hold the plate on the back of the TV 
to the mount. Another thing about this, it's cheap, so it's not that precisely made. So for example, here I've got it level facing forward, but if I move it over to the side here and check it again, it's no longer level. So if you're really sensitive to how level your TV is, uh, you might wanna level it in the position you kinda think you're gonna have the TV ultimately facing. Next, put the TV on the mount and reinstall those two screws that you just took out. After you have the TV in place, make any other adjustments you want to make, hook everything up, and you're done. Here's what you actually get in the kit. There are eight screwdrivers, obviously. Uh, for the Phillips, you get a stubby number two Phillips, then Phillips uh, one, two, and three.